Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with the Boathouse Group. Today we are filming the first episode of our Electronics 101. Today we are standing on a Sportsman 312. This boat has dual Garmin 8617s on it. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about marking waypoints, setting new waypoints, the different ways to go through your electronics and create those. So as we get started, um, on the bottom left hand side of your screen on any most of your Garmin products, any of your touchscreen Garmin products, you're going to have this waypoint button. What that will bring you up to is all your waypoints on. So you can look through any waypoints you've already created. From there you can also create new waypoints. So that's what we're really going to be talking about today, the different ways to create a new waypoint whether you're given a GPS coordinate, whether you just ran over a spot that you want to mark whether you know you've got a friend that's somewhere and you want to look at it on the map and mark it from there there's all different ways to do that whether there's a home marking a restaurant marking a fishing spot like i said whatever the case may be so to start off we're going to go through new waypoint and then from there you can either enter coordinate use the chart use your current position enter the range bearing first thing we're going to do obviously is using current position what that button's going to do is right where you are located it'll drop a pin exactly where that's at. So use current position, then you can edit it and change your name, change your system, so on and so forth from that point. You can also enter a coordinate. Um, if you were given a coordinate for a fishing spot or a location for a marina, restaurant, whatever the case may be, you can just go north 26, you know, 08, 245, west 082, 41, 659 whatever the waypoint may be just put it in hit done then you can hit edit name it and then when if we go to navigate to we'll go to it it's going to draw me a straight line right to where that coordinate's at now obviously this one's a little bit offshore i just picked a coordinate don't go try and go there i don't think there's anything special at that spot if there is let me know or another option is going to be again new waypoint use chart we can now create, zoom in, and if there's a spot that you see or you want to go to, you hit mark that. And now there's that position, set position, edit. Now I can name it, whether I name it Key West Pass, whatever the case may be. Now that's done, now that's in my system. So those are the couple of ways from that, from that waypoint page. You've also got the ability to do a lot of that same things from this page here. You can click a spot and on the top side, you can hit add waypoint. You can pick go to, route to, so on and so forth. But if you just wanted to add a waypoint there, you clicked your spot, add waypoint, that has now created that waypoint. Finally, the final version of how we can create a waypoint is through your sonar. So if we look at our sonar, Obviously we're on land right now, so it's not gonna be reading very well. But you were running and all of a sudden you saw a big spike if you're bottom fishing or you saw something that excited you and it was right here at that spot. All you gotta do is hit pause on that. That'll mark that position where you paused it at. And then from there, you can just hit mark. That's gonna mark that position. Again, I'll name this from sonar because that's how we created that back and then we just hit back to get out of it if we go home or go to our waypoints again there's that sonar we can navigate to that go to that is that exact same location we go as soon as we go into charts obviously again we're on land but right where I marked is where that one is going to be so those are all of your different ways of marking new waypoints creating new waypoints um, so if you have any questions in regards to any type of waypoints, feel free to contact us. We can give you some more detailed information. But again, those are going to be your main ways. And uh, hopefully you can get out and catch plenty of fish, go meet, find some new places, whatever the case may be. Again, my name is Jeremy Eck with The Boathouse. And uh, thank you for watching episode one of Electronics 101.